Hello and welcome to Windows 10 Training with Home Users and IT Professional on JobSkillShare.org. In this video, we will talk about the course layout and uh, who should be taking this course and what are we going to cover uh, in this course. Um, so, when we say that this is also for home users, we are going to talk about very basic things in in Windows 10. For example, we will talk about Start Menu, uh, how to use Cortana, how to use um, the Edge, and features in there. Kind of go in details of all these settings, how to set up a screen share, and things like that. But at the same time, since the whole platform is kind of you know focused towards IT professionals starting their career from help desk, so we would like to help the same you know with the same course we would like to help the IT professionals because what happened and why would and uh, we would add an IT professional in this course is that if they get a call from a user uh, so they would know where to navigate and troubleshoot the, the, the user so this is why it is important for an IT professional and I can give you one quick example if somebody say let's say they're on edge right now and let's say I am trying to use Cortana features I know it should be working I right click on this and I don't see search with Cortana I mean there's there's, there's something I'm missing in here it's inspect the element I mean you can you, you don't see the search right so what happened is that if you go to the settings and how would you solve this issue if you didn't know this and this is why we added the IT professional in this course also so then we talk about these issues like troubleshooting calls that a user would call and you could lead them okay now go to settings and then scroll down and click on view advanced settings and then turn on your Cortana um, settings right and if you click on right here have Cortana assist me in Microsoft edges off then that's another thing that you then need to know okay is this person logged in to the Microsoft uh, account of Windows 10 or is this person logged into a local account usually uh, it requires a Microsoft account then you will need to come back to Cortana here and set it up for them and you can see it requires a Microsoft account so see just one example I showed um, kind of did this is just an example of course we are going to teach all that stuff but just an example for who can be you know uh, taking this training so it's a user if a user is taking this training then that's great but imagine if the user don't know about this training so you as an IT person now knows all of the tricks and and the settings and everything so if a user call you from home and say that you know I would like I would like to use this, this feature in this Windows 10 that I know it's there but it's not working so you're not just searching and googling at that time of course you probably will still google but at the same time you know a lot of things with this training that is the whole purpose of you know adding an IT professional to it and of course we will start with something very basic basic meaning we're gonna go to the start menu and all that stuff and features and so the home users are kind of they know the basics and everything but of course when it comes to imaging when it comes to recovery when it comes to things like that this is where an IT professional can use this and kind of you know see where can they now use their skills like deployments and all that stuff that they have learned in other courses on Windows 10 so that is kind of the target of this course and of course anyone any user that is taking this course they can have a lot of experience with this this will uh, be a great thing for an IT department now if this course was suggested to a user they can probably use it and this will be a, a very few help this tickets then so that is kind of the goal so let's go back and how would you navigate to the course you'll go to jobskillshare.org you'll click on all courses and the course will be available right here Windows 10 training home users and IT professional you can also search it in this section right here or you can also click on how to become a help desk support specialist and it's also added to that one so when you click on this course it will be like this and it will require an account so you will log in click on here and I'm going to put my account and my password and 8 minus uh, what is 6 2 right all right so then what will happen is that you will be logged into your um, course account so we'll go back in there and we'll log into the course so I can show you guys how to navigate and uh, how to start this course so once you are in the all courses section you'll click on Windows 10 training home users and IT and now in on the top right here you'll see you can start the course you'll just click on that 
and what will happen you will get to some basic uh, platform uh, questions and answers and agreement and then you click on start course and now you're in the first video this first video will be uploaded right here uh, as you can see you have other videos that are going to be uploaded right here to upgrade Windows 764 bit to, to and, and they're already done so when you probably come back to this video right now and you are in this course you will see all these videos uploaded and you can actually start following things now like I said again this course can be a very some of the videos are going to be very basic so a lot of people that have technical skills might feel like oh you know this is something very basic that I already know so think about this when I make these videos it is targeting a lot of people meaning a lot of people as in home users and also in IT people so when we when we do something basic don't think it's just you know that I you know oh, this is just a waste of time don't think about that think about that this video is also you know um, providing uh, training to someone else other than your category so this is how the course is going to be laid out this is a going to be a big course so you will see a lot of sections will get added with time and if you have any suggestions and anything new or features or anything you would like to add you can make your videos and we can add it to this course so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in this course